Hi, Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Exeter, and this is Garage Talk. So it's been a while since we've been together. 2020 sure has been strange, hasn't it? Have you seen one of these lately? Huh? I bet you haven't. Of course you have. The word of the day is procrastination. And we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. And my New Year's resolution is to not procrastinate so much. So I'm trying to practice what I preach by putting on my snowblower before I need it. So in our continuing effort to make this as educational as possible, we'll give you a blow-by-blow blow here what's happening. We're taking the deck off the bottom. We'll slide that out. Now, John Deere makes a ride-over deck now, but this is an older model, so we have to kind of jack it up and slide it out there. And of course, that deck probably weighs 100 pounds or so, but that's nothing to a man like myself along with the tractor weights that we'll be putting on the back and here's the tire chains here. We'll throw those on and then the tractor weights that we put on the back are 40 pounds a piece. Then so there's 240 pounds on the back to give you more traction. Another small amount for the man that I am. And so we'll get that on there and now we're pondering. The real key to this is to get your son to do this for you. And I had a man that that I raised. He moved away on me and got married. And this was his job, so I'm not as good at it as he was, but I can bluff my way. So we hooked up the hydraulic lines and now we pull around onto the snowblower. And thank you to the magic of editing that my wife does. She makes this look much easier than it was. So now the, mower, the snowblower is all hooked on and we're backing up here. That's her driving. <laughs> Ta-da! Do you ever put things off? You know, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Why bother to do what today, what you can do tomorrow? Those things will get you in trouble. So, in an effort to practice my New Year's resolution, we have put the snowblower on the lawnmower, and there's not even snow yet, which there was. It went away. We have it now. But I'm prepared. I'm ready. So I've talked to people about New Year's resolutions in the past, and they always say, oh, I don't do those things, or oh, I tried that, and I always give them up. And Well, you know, someone said, if you aim at nothing, that's exactly what you'll get. And you ought to just, you ought to have a desire to do better in 2021. Seems like it shouldn't be very hard. 2020 was a washout. But you ought to think about, what can I do in 2021? And to help you in this effort, we have made a list, and it just so happens we've put it on toilet paper. Seemed fitting. So, hey, how about a date night? Once a month, just once a month. And my wife says if you can't do it once a month, then once a week, try rubbing her feet. And I said, no, it can't be your feet. It has to be your wife's feet. So hopefully you don't know where we live. We don't want you lining up at our door, knocking and asking to rub my wife's feet. It's you rub your wife's feet, or ladies, maybe you'd like to do that for your husband, or other things. No procrastination. I've already said that, haven't I? All right. How about read through your Bible this year? You know, if you just take 15 minutes a day, it's all it takes to read through your Bible in a year. You can even take Sundays off if you'd like to. But there's something special about reading through your Bible. You will notice there's something that happens when you do that that is extra special. Just 15 minutes a day is all it takes. How about exercise? Hey, everybody exercise. You know, they say that if you join a gym the first of the year, you can't find a place in the parking lot anywhere. That place is packed in January, although with the, all the social distancing laws and stuff, I don't even know how that applies. But in normal times, you can't even get near a gym in January because everybody's got their New Year's resolution. They're, they're lifting and working and, and trying and all those things and getting in great shape. But by February, you don't have any problem finding a place anywhere. Did you know there's a date called Blue Monday? Blue Monday is always the third Monday in January. It's January 18th this year because by the third Monday of January, 
most people have already given up on their New Year's resolutions. Thus, Blue Monday. It takes about 40 days to either make or break a commitment. Once you've gone through 40 days of doing something, 40 days of reading your Bible every day, you're going to be into a pattern that you won't get out of. 40 days of going to the gym, is, you'll be in a pattern that you won't get out of. But on the other hand, if you stop, if January 18th is Blue Monday, people have already quit before they even got halfway there. Hello? What's that say about us? So anyway, New Year's resolutions. There's a lot of them you could make. How about you email me at pastorstangriffin at yahoo.com and tell me what your New Year's resolution is. And, and uh, try not to procrastinate it. Thanks for watching. See your church on Sunday, I hope. And shout out to all of you that have asked for Garage Talk and we've not been doing it. Sorry. Happy New Year. <laughs>